Park Booters, it's your boy Gobo coming at you with a brand new show, Action Figure Monthly. Okay, so here we have the uh, packaging here, and yeah, it's looking pretty similar to the uh, to the standard Deadpool. So let's go ahead and just violently yank them out of the package here. Alright, get them on out. There's one leg, there's two legs. Oh, oh we lost the burrito. Okay, and here it comes. Okay, so. Initial reactions aren't bad. So uh, yeah, he's got the uh, standard Deadpool head. Looks like good paint apps on the face. Yeah. Hey, what's up there? So yeah, looks like you got the standard white eyes and then reversed uh, with the black and red there. And you got the entire black torso. Looks like uh, arms. Looks like double double jointed. It looks like he's got the with the pivoting ball joint Hasbro things. Uh, just like the original Deadpool, if you remember my review. He's got these weird arbitrary wrist things, uh, non-posable hands, which is standard. Uh, looks like he got a big ol' ab crunch. Ooh, ab crunch is a little loose. Uh, Headbanging. Uh, I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff. He's got a gun, uh, is that a removable gun on the holster here? I don't wanna mess with it too much. A little slot for his knife there. Moving down, he's got his utility belt. Lots of pouches, slots for his uh, samurai swords on the back. Another knife can go on the on the back there. Uh, he's got another holster, uh, you know, and also I'm not going to mess it up. Another double jointed knee, uh, hips. Actually, uh, you know, they, they click, but they're a little loose still. I wonder if I could maybe look at it in the package for too long before taking it out. Looks like more arbitrary weird thing, weird things on the uh, ankles to fall off. But I love this paint on the shoe, like. Uh, it's got that like kind of acid wash gray, um, and uh, yeah, the belts are in gray. They got the silver tones. The uh, detail in the boot is gray. It's got foot pegs. It's got uh, it looks like it doesn't look like it has much ankle pivot. Uh, you know, just thigh swivel. Yeah, double joint and knees. If I said that before, upper thigh swivel, calf swivel. What I meant to say before. But, yeah, basically, it's another 12 inch Deadpool. I guess we can look at the accessories. Okay, so it looks like we got yeah, two standard Deadpool Samurai swords. Looks like we got a couple of knives, uh, an alternate head, you know, with this hamburger face and half uh, half of his mask coming off. And he's got all sorts of hands. He's got a thumbs up. He's got fist, uh, a couple of fists, uh, weapon holding stuff there. He's got this gun. Okay, so the paint on the guns is improved, but only a little bit. So it looks like they did two-tone guns. Uh, instead of just the flat color from the last time. And they did put a little bit more detail into them, so I do like the, the silver color there. And, uh, oh yeah, one more. That is a standard Deadpool burrito. So yeah, if you have a bunch of Deadpool figures, you're gonna have quite a, you know, quite a Mexican feast here. So you're like stock up like your blob figures. It's like, oh, here's got a bunch of burritos and tacos and other crap. So either way, so good looking figure. Happy with it. Um, you know, glad we got it for retail. It seems like this one's pretty available if you're looking for one. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, they're dead cool fans. So let's, uh, let's bust out some poses before we move on to the next thing. No. 
another Marvel Legends, and this one is an Amazon exclusive. It is the Defenders 4-pack. So, to crack this thing open, we'll see it's all the Netflix shows, guys, in their comic form. Uh, you know, we see the, uh, there's Daredevil, there's Jessica Jones, there's Jewel, Luke Cage, and of course the Iron Fist. So yeah, let's, uh, let's crank these things open and check them out. So this set is so cool, it'll make, uh, you know, all your friends and colleagues want to lash out in jealousy like the guy at the Amazon warehouse did when he decided to stop my freaking package. Look at this. That's pitiful, Amazon. No good. Bad, bad, bad Amazon. Look how upset Luke Cage is. And there they are. Look at that. Yeah, Defenders Assemble, huh? Just the power of Netflix. So. Looking at these figures, it's all pretty, I don't want to say standard fare because they're pretty neat, they're worth having, but this Daredevil is uh, very similar to the, uh, hey, you're not in this shot yet, uh, very similar to the Hobgoblin we've got uh, Daredevil, a little lighter red, and his sticks are red with silver instead of just plain white, so, oh man, you shaking the table, knocking all my, uh, all my action figures over, so. Yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's got good articulation. It looks like, yeah, he's got the head swivel, he's got the neck, the shoulder, uh, bicep swivel, double jointed, elbows, he's got a heck of an ab crunch. And the ab crunch is just looser on these new ones. I don't know what it is. I mean, they, maybe they just got uh, too many complaints about the ab swivels being tight. Uh, it's got a, uh, you know, a, a, a turning uh, doodad on his waist. and. Got a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Got a calf swivel that cuts off his red hands from his maroon boots. Uh, with the new fashion, he's got a little harness there to hold his sticks when he's not using them. And uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty intimidating looking. He's got that like that cowl covering a scowl. So yeah, it looks like his. Uh, his eyes are kind of just closed on this figure. Most of the time, Daredevil figures, they just do like whites over the eyes. Um, you know, just like, but this one looks like a, and it's kind of creepy looking. It's almost like some uh, Vent Horizon, like a empty eye socket type thing. So, who knows, but yeah, no, he's, uh, he's a cool figure. You do all, his, do all his karate, you know, justice, clean up house kitchen. So there's, there's Daredevil for you. Um, up next, we got Jewel. Or uh, Jessica, Jessica Jones, um, which is ridiculous. Uh, you know the the character, the Marvel, um, the character in the uh, in the Netflix show is just a far, very far cry from the uh, comic book, but she looks good. Um, you know, and I talked about this a lot in my Ladies of Asgard um, <laughs> review, or the the uh, A Force. That's right. Sorry, I did so many sets this year, Hasbro. Um, in uh, my Ace Force box set, talked about just how, what all the stuff they're doing with the female characters with their hair, and it's just like, holy cow! That just that looks great. It's proportionate. It looks like it's it's moving. I mean, the eyes are very dramatic. Uh, good paint apps. Good even paint on the eyes. Sorry, I went blurry for a second. She's got that really glossy lipstick. And then yeah, her costume is very consistent. She's got the under boob. Not really a crunch, but a swivel, you know, she's got her shoulders, posable shoulders. The arms on the female characters are so thin, I always feel like they're going to break them out, so I'm only like kind of apprehensive to uh, defend them, but yeah, I mean, she's got uh, double jointed elbows, she's got the, uh, the fist swivel, so I'm going tight, all right, here we go. Uh, now on top of that, she's got a, no waist swivel there, so she's got the upper thigh swivel, the ball jointed uh, hips, uh, upper thigh swivel, she's got the double jointed knees. No calf swivel and then, um, no calf joint, I mean, and then the, uh, the feet look good. A lot of times on the female figures, they'll give them those, like, um, you know, those, those sort of wedge shoes or the heels that are, like, impossible to stand up. These are, uh, these are actually pretty easy to use. They're fully really flat on the bottom. So it's Jewel, pretty good. Uh, you know, I like the, uh, the deviation in the paint here. Real clean lines on this, like, little belt here with the, uh, oh, it's a Jewel. Okay, because she's Jewel. No, I get it. That's funny. Um, okay, so that's Jewel. Uh, I'm saving Luke Cage for last. That one's my favorite. Okay, and here we have yet another Iron Fist. So, um, this is like my fourth or fifth Iron Fist character, and I'm only uh, figuring I've only been collecting these things since like 2013. So, 
lots of iron fist but here's danny rand uh he's you know looks like he does in the comics he's got his cowl um also scowling um you know but the cowl is uh, uh the paint looks really good he's got that that good wrinkle he's got the uh, the, the slanty white eyes you know as it says i'm angry i'm here i'm here i mean business with those eyes um so and then uh yeah he's got this big dragon tattoo on his chest there um you know and then the flame effects they included on the fists are pretty good they wrap up and around the fists so they're not just like over encompassing so a lot of the effects um uh, asbro is really improving on so yeah if you look at them like from this angle uh yeah that, that just that looks great and then um really crisp crisp color crisp crisp colors on the uh on the pants and the boots and the sash and yeah, a little bit of smudging on the uh on the boot on his, on his right boot there but that's okay he can't have everything right um yeah and he's got lots of little muscles and little divots you know for the ladies uh you know he's a very very in shape fella so that's uh that's iron fist it's all right and this guy so everybody wants a luke cage figure um everybody's putting together the defenders or different avenger series or just you know, just like Luke Cage as, a, as Marvel canon, and the only way to get him prior to this was in a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive pack, so the uh, the figure itself was like $100, $120, or something ridiculous like that. This figure is almost a carbon copy of that figure, uh, and it came in this four pack, which was, I ended up paying $72 for it, so, you know, not bad, less than $20 a figure, uh, and you just look at him, he's very stout, stout he's very strong looking you know he's got his, his bald head and his goatee and he's just you know can't be messing around with him and he's got a the yellow t-shirt and it looks like the lines are pretty clean on the t-shirt lots of muscles just the sculptors have been doing like like all these like little subsequent muscles they just want to make their characters just like rip like look at his legs i mean no skipping leg day for this guy uh boots he's got his silver gauntlet boot things he's got his gauntlets on his arms and big honk and belt buckle it's probably painful when he sits down but <coughs> that's okay he's impervious to, to you know damage of all kinds he's got this uh that good ab crunch he is ab crunch make noise so maybe it's just the smaller characters but that's the defenders four pack here's them just in an unorganized pile next to some garbage and um yeah, i hope you enjoy them i know that i'm looking forward to setting them up so stepping away from the marvel legends for a minute um, you know, as big fans of Lunar Harpoon, as I'm sure you all already are, you're very familiar with the Gang of Dang. <laughs> Any good gang without a leader. So, uh, you know, here I'm going to show you one of the pickups that we uh, got. Won't be taking it out of the package, but we're going to enjoy it just the same anyway. Oh, and here he is. The gentle giant, I mean, to give it a scale, here's my giant sausage hand, and this doesn't even cover this enormous Dangar uh, here uh, provided to us by Gentle Giant. So we look at it, it's the exact packaging from the 1980s, and it comes with, uh, you know, this you know nine, nine inch Dangar, this giant gun, and on the back, the other figures from the wave, and then Gentle Giants throwing a little bit of their own advertising in there with uh, this Grand Admiral Thrawn. Yeah, he was not uh, conceptualized back in back in uh, Return of the or uh, Empire Strikes Back days. So yeah, there he is, Giant Dangar. We're gonna give an extra special thanks to our friends at the uh, Jason Street Warehouse, Mile High Comics, for giving us a great deal on this Dangar and a couple of other things. Uh, your contributions to the channel are much appreciated. Oi, Denga, thanks, yeah. Now, after watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a child of the 90s, as is Curtis and the majority of the, you know, however many people watching this are. Um, if you were around in the 90s, you'll know that there was a lot of toys that just didn't make much sense. They were just gross, uh, or, or weird, or goofy, or kind of funny. And uh, that's just the stuff that I'm passionate about. So thinking about it, like kids will never go for things, you know, of that nature here, uh, you know, in 2017, right? Right? On! Ah! So here we have 
a couple of figures I've been scouring Targets and Toys R Us for. These are grocery game figures. Now the grocery games are usually these like gumball machine size guys. They're kind of the Shopkins for boys. Um, but recently I saw a couple of uh, different toy channels advertising the release of these four inch figures that are almost, I, I hate to even say this, they're almost like the modern day version of Mattel's Foo Fighters. So, uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, food Fighters. And uh, I, I love these things. I want to try to find the rest of them. But these are the ones we picked up so far. We got a, a Dodgy Donut. He's a donut man. Um, got a little donut friend and some nunchucks or something. And uh, who cares? Whatever. He's a donut. Here's a uh, trash can named aptly Trash Head. They clearly stayed up all night coming up to the uh, with the names on these things. He's got a little trash can buddy. They all come with these little buddies that are like the smaller versions of themselves. His weapon is some fish bones because of course that would be in the trash. Uh, this is actually from the, the second series, uh, which I'm super excited about. This is Blowfly. Uh, you kind of there's this little other fly, and uh, I'm not quite sure what the context of this figure is. He's a fly, but he has a fly swatter, and he's covered in goo that is maybe like flies that he's already splatted. But then his mouth, so is he eating the flies? Is he a cannibal fly? I, I don't get it, but it's gross and I love it. Um, putrid Pizza, uh, he's a pizza man, uh, clearly, and uh, just eyeballs are the toppings. Yeah, that's what you want to see in your pizza. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, he comes with a, uh, a, a pizza scoop type thing. And, uh, you know, there's a little slice of pizza that's him. And uh, this, this makes me very happy. The bad guys in this set are cleaning supplies. Like, this is Vac Attack. He's a vacuum, and he's, he's evil. He's trying to mess with the grocery gang. Um, but yeah, just look at that, just real, that shiny, um, you know, paint there. You're looking great. There's this smaller version, which is kind of warped and weird looking. And then this was my favorite. This is Gooey Chewy, which is, uh, I mean, the names aren't, aren't my favorite thing with this set, but look at this figure. He's a gum. He's made of gum. And look, he's got like a slingshot or something. I don't know, his eyes are all messed up, you know, he's like looking in different directions. Um, you know, but his whole body's made of gum and there's like a gum friend. I mean, it's pretty much interchangeable. So here these are, you know, and uh, so just knowing, like doing a little bit of research on them. Uh, yeah, so I guess there's also a cartoon series and uh, they have the, the movie, the Grocery Gang movie on um, YouTube. And man, I tried to give that a watch and I couldn't get but a couple of I don't know, I, I, I hate to say you, know, minutes into it before I had to shut it off, so. Um, the charm of these of these characters is really in the in the figures alone, but uh, go get them. If you're a 90s kid like me, you love weird shit like this, and, uh, you know, there's, you know, it's still out there. Well, Harpooners, it looks like that's our show for today. We had some laughs, hopefully learned a few things, and I'd like to leave you with my final thought of the day. Now, as an adult action figure and video game collector, a lot of people just don't understand what the appeal is of some of these things. Well, to these certain people, all you have to say is screw you. Because everyone likes something weird, and everybody who makes fun of you for collecting uh, Marvel Legends or Star Wars things or any kind of different collectible now, these were the people who in 1997 bought out Happy Meal Beanie Babies because they thought they would make them millionaires. So, collect what you love, don't care what anybody else thinks, be good to your dog, and keep watching Lunar Harpoon. Did you know that we have a website now? It's uh, very cryptically named LunarHarpoon.com, and if you check us out, we got a new blog going on called The Harpoonist, very fancy, as well as a podcast which was aptly named the Lunar Harpoon Podcast. We talk about movies, culture, all sorts of different things. Check us out, Harpooners. Thank you for spending your time with us today, and we will see you next time.